Hey YouTube, hey subscribers, thanks for tuning in. I recently stumbled across a video on YouTube that seems to validate several different theories and concepts I've put forth on the channel before. A few of these are narcissists, being hollow men and hollow women, surmising that they've been body snatched, and we've actually called them the walking dead before. Then, a few years later, we hear that some people say they have no inner voice or inner dialogue at all. On top of that, the narcissist's actions often lead one to question if there is any cognitive activity present. All of this amounts to a person who is only half alive, half awake, or only has access to one half of themselves at any given time. So imagine my surprise when I stumble across this video on YouTube regarding Cotard syndrome. I would play a clip for you, but I don't feel like wrestling with the copyright police today. So I'll give you a brief summary. Check the link in the description box to watch the video in full, which is very informative and provides lots of context. Essentially, Cotard syndrome is a delusion of non-existence. It's the belief that you are dead or the belief that you are a corpse. People with catards believe they don't have organs or limbs, have no need to eat, and no need to sleep, and also don't think they exist. The condition is rare, but there are well-documented cases from all over the world. The thing that struck me the most was a man with catard syndrome who actually had a positron emission tomography or PET scan done on him. That scan showed that the man's brain activity was like unto that of someone in a vegetative state, asleep, or someone under anesthesia. When we add all of these things up, no inner voice, no conscience, no empathy, with the presence of Cotard syndrome, and the knowledge that at least one person with Cotards registered as vegetative, even though up and walking around, wouldn't that explain narcissist and narcissism to a T? Mix this with the link to Copgrass syndrome, which is the belief others around you aren't real, and it makes sense that a narcissist could do unspeakable things to those they claim to love. They are literally half dead. They are asleep. The video notes how they seem to lose all their senses, including taste and smell, which we have mentioned many times before here on this channel. Temperature wasn't mentioned in the video, but I'm sure that goes along with it too. Almost every major characteristic we attribute to narcissists could be attributed to someone with Cotard syndrome who is only half alive, half perceiving, half present. Some insist they are 100% a corpse. What if narcissists truly are the walking dead? What if there is a state of mind and of being that allows one to operate their physical form but be completely absent in their mind? like a permanent sleepwalker or the walking dead. Wouldn't this explain so much? Think about everything we've discussed so far on this channel. What if this is it, you guys? Undiagnosed Cotard syndrome. Corpse people everywhere you go. Is this why nothing registers? Is this why no learning takes place? Is this why they seem to be on autopilot? Because in many ways they are already dead? Is this why they energetically suck the life out of you? Because they need some type of energy to fuel the corpse? I don't know, and I could go on and on, but I'll go ahead and wrap up here. It is possible that we have stumbled upon an explanation for narcissism in our society. Approximately one half of the society is literally brain dead. If you ran a PET scan on them, they would be vegetative. We don't let people drive drunk, so should we be letting people drive around in active vegetative states? Same for life in general. Should the walking comatose be allowed to roam freely and make decisions in the world? I look forward to your comments and thoughts and discussions down below. Thank you for listening, and as always, I grant you the permission to exist. Bye-bye.